Assalamu alaikum. So if you're creating an Arduino project, you'll probably want to update it on your GitHub profile as well. So I'll be showing you how to do that. So let's proceed step by step. Firstly, you need to create a repository on GitHub, the repository that you'll basically clone to your um, computer. Simply go to github.com and create a repository. If you don't know how to do that, I'll just show you over here. You simply click to new repository, give your repository a name and like, you know, choose the basic settings. I'll just set it to private and add a readme file for the documentation. And that's it. That, those are the main settings. And you simply create a repository. And as you can see, it has been created. You can see it on your profile. Now, the next step is to clone the repository, which basically in simpler terms means like to, you know, bring a copy of your repository to your local, like to your computer. So just choose the location where you want to save the folder. I chose desktop and right click and select git bash. This will open your git bash command line. And over here, you'll write the clone command, which will basically kind of bring the repository to your computer. So over here, I'm writing the git clone command and just see the link copy the exact same link of your repository this is this is where you can find the link and add it to your uh, git bash command line so you simply type out this link the link of your repository to the command line and then when you're done doing that tutorial.get you press enter and now you can check if it's actually saved on your computer or not just go to the same location in my case it was desktop so go to the same location desktop and as you can see the folder called tutorial over here so successfully we cloned the repository to our computer so now let's say if you're getting started with your arduino project basically create your first arduino file you have it saved on your computer firstly obviously you have to change your directory and you know change it to the new folder that you created in my case it was called tutorial so i'll change my directory and go to tutorial now i'm in my tutorial folder all right So this was uh, this is a dummy Arduino file that I have saved on my computer. Like let's say I'm going to start on a project. So this is the first Arduino file that I created, and now I want to add it to my GitHub repo. So firstly, I'll this is saved in some other location on my computer. It was saved in Documents. So I'll simply copy this file, and I'll just um quickly copy it, and then you have to paste it to your folder, the tutorial folder, the folder which was cloned from your GitHub repo. You have to paste this file over there. This is the folder and I'll paste the Arduino file over here. Now, to update your repo, like the online repo, so that it contains this new file as well, there's three steps that you have to do. I'll open the command line again and show you how to do it. Basically, these are the three main commands that you do that you enter to update your GitHub repo with the changes that you did in your local, in your computer, basically. So I'll just type out the first command, which was git add all, then press enter, then add the next command. You can name your commit. It's obviously a good practice to give them meaningful names so that it you can understand your code later on and i'll just give it a name and then press enter so as you can see it says one file change and you'll see you'll observe the changes so now finally adding the git push and press enter now we'll see on our github profile i'll just refresh the page and as you can see the file has been added over here now it's very likely that you might not create your whole project in just one go right you might want to make some changes and then you'll want to update those changes to your github repo to basically track the whole process 
so let's say this is my Arduino project right I'll open the file press ok over here and open the project open the Arduino project and let's say I make some changes to it like any it can be any change I'll just I think I'll add a comment that says changes Like this is just an example you make you update your code because you're not going to basically create your whole project in just one go right so you save the changes and then you follow the same steps as i showed you earlier all right you open the git bash command line again git bash here and just double check if you're in the same directory or not as you can see above it says desktop slash tutorial so i'm in the right directory then again add the same three comments git add oil press enter git commit and i'll i think give it the name second commit make sure you give them meaningful names because that will help you or anyone else understand your code later on so this was the second commit and finally i'll push it to my repo git push oil and press enter now let's see if the changes were made to our repo or not i'll refresh the page and now as you can see it says three commits i've made three commits now the first commit the creating the repo counts as the first commit so if i open the file again you can see it has been updated it says it it has the change which i made so that was all. I I hope I made it quite kind of easy for you. And do let me know if there's any other thing you want me to make a tutorial on.